We know it to be a Beanie Man event. That made a triumphant return last year after a long hiatus. But is the mastermind behind the new summer sizzle, the dance or king? Or his better half? We want experience. Crystal is here to answer and will also answer whether she's now a full-blown politician. Correct. And she's bringing along the dance or king. Oh, no, no, no. Where is this roots artist who gave us this instant classic two years ago? We pray, we pray. Jay Allen himself will be answering that question in this hour. Get ready now. The dancehall artist who is reportedly Queen Spice's spiritual advisor and Macra's man will also be here. All coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. People, man. Why not take with people, man? Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Now, he said to be a popular spiritual advisor. Get ready, no. With as big a dancehall superstar among the flock as Spice. Yet posing as Macron's man. Take the people, man. Yes. The same man that is posted all over social media with Macri. You remember her, right? Macri. He's known as RT Boss, who comes to our stage as hmm, a dancehall artist. Wow. Sir, RT, welcome, sir. Thanks for having me here. So, okay. Dancehall artist, spiritual leader, Macri man. Which was first? <laughs> Where you was that from? The we was that from? Okay, so were you always an artist? No, it's just a calling. I get the calling from the spirit to become a dancer artist. So me, I'm moved by the energy of the spirit. Define that for us. Okay, I'm trying to say that the spirit. I just get up one day and I get up and I hear a voice, which is a conscious voice that bring me here, which is a voice of God. Say to me, go in music. So I just move to it. I, why I say the voice of God? Because the spirit must be of God for me to bring a positive message to me. Okay, so you are a religious, spiritual leader. I would more like call it, I'm a person who like to use God to help people and motivate them and uplift them. But to an you're expense. not religious? Yeah, I am religious. I'm a religious person. I do believe in God. But what I want a you Christian? to... Uh, in Christian? Christian religion, to be exact. Okay. But what I want to outline that, but I don't broadcast the Christian life because I'm not 100%. But I use that energy of Christian positivity towards people out there who want to be uplifted in life. So you totally embrace the Christian values? Exactly. And Spice is one of your clients. Well, let me tell you something now. Spice is my friend. Mm -hmm. And all Jamaica know that any question you want to ask Spice, because Spice say, if you want no, just ask me. So yes. I think anything you want to know, Winford, you just ask Spice, she will I, tell you. Ask her about the benefits of your spiritual advice. Ask her what you think you want to ask her. Yes. But what do you know to be the benefits she has received from your spiritual leadership. Spice is not associated with anything of RT spiritual brand. Yes. The queen of dancer is not associated with the RT brand. She's my friend, she do her thing, and I do my thing. We are not in any spiritual agreement. We're just friends. Only friends? Only friends. Did you pray for her at Reggae Sun Fest? No. I heard that you did. So you, she's your friend? So, right. So seeing you around her, mm -hmm. people might have assumed that you were praying for her. Well, you know, people have the right, you know, when for assume and think, you know, but I'm just telling the truth. Me, I spice it just friend, no more. Okay, so who do you, who are some of your famous clients? Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you are a doctor, yes. would you give out your client information? No, not, not their personal data, but you could say, well, that's one of my I patients. Think, but no, we can't do that because if I outline that Winford, mm -hmm. then Jamaica will say, no, I don't want to book a reading with him because he's not professional. Because he's on Winford calling names. A reading? Huh? A reading? Yes. What do you mean by a reading? Reading. Uh, you find ways to get me. A reading is 
Like for example, now I'm right here sitting here and I just pick up on your energy and the spirit say to tell you things and I just tell you. So that I call reading. So that is what gave me the, the unpint boss name. That is what gave me that status to be a spiritual advisor, a five star on Facebook, based on the unpint and the accuracy of my reading. I'm very unpint. So isn't that something we sometimes label Obia in Jamaica? Well, to be exact, I am not. Look at me, prosperity and my life. I don't entertain witchcraft. And I, and I know they call it Obia, you know, but I am not a part of that because the truth and in fact, it is not Obia. Okay, so you're born Obia? Very much hard. Okay. Jamaican people will say what they want to say and I respect them. But when they get to know RT boss and see my agenda, they will know that I am nothing in witchcraft, nothing in that type of realms. I just want Jamaica to know today that I am a charity artist. My purpose is to use my spiritual gift and know the artist engagement that I'm going to be, you know, use that money and talk to the streets of Jamaica. So you're a new artist. Let's new talk artist. about that. New artist, right. What have you achieved so far? What do you have? Well, me have a hit song. Boss it. Boss it, I boss the place right now. Very done, I boss down. Big up Boom Boom and Rooksy, them, and them push it up. Boom Boom, them, I push it. Yes, night man, I hurry up, yeah, man. All right, let's take it. Can we now take it? Yes, let's go to it right, right now. Every guy. In a middle now, boss it, down, boss it, down, look again, boss it, down, look again, boss it, down, every girl, boss it, down, come here girl, boss it, down, every girl, boss it, down, hey girl, boss it, down. Okay, <laughs> boss it down, boss okay it. sir, it. so you say this is a, a runaway hit already? Definitely. In the streets? Definitely. Or or in, on radio too? Yes. You're getting airplay? Yes. But I want to say something, Winford, because a lot of Jamaican is going to be say, oh, you must fake him, not this, but I want to say something. Mm -hmm. My hymn and my vision show me this busted song and a song called Survivor song that I have is going to hit Jamaica. I am going to have a five month run by this August, go right back to December, I will be a star in Jamaica. And my money will go back to the community. Because Winford, I'm successful. I'm just come to give back to the youth of the country. Yes, OK. Macri. My friend. But I'm concerned about her. So are you her man? My friend. I'm concerned about Only her. Only a friend. My friend. I'm concerned about her. So were you deliberately trying to create the impression that you're more than friend? Let me take off the glasses. I met Mackerel. When I met Mackerel, Mackerel say she take people, man. She never had take anyone. She come to me as a client, and I advise her, telling her that she's going to go to Canada, telling her that I see she's going to England. And I say to her, I'm going to make my career be rise, rising, so I'm going to make you and rise too. I am the man that you're going to take. She say, okay. When everything is going good and I come out, it's a problem to stone for my song, Global Boom. What's so I bust back Mackerel. Listen to me now. I bust back Mackerel by playing a role by saying, I am the new man. Remember, no, no, I say Macrillians. Now, why I say concern, I want Jamaica to know something. I concern about Macrill because I want Macrill to go in music world. Mm -hmm. And there is a problem at this time. And I love that girl. So the team is not right. Big up Macrill. Love her. Jamaica, help her. So you tricked us into believing that you are. I just I love you. You see, you always make things look difficult for me. All right. No, I didn't trick. I help Mackerel. Ask me when I do it, what benefit come from it. I do it to take Mackerel out of our location, put her in an apartment, Winford. When I enter the realms of Jamaica, the condition... You are posing with her as her man, helped her out of her, her economic situation? Come on, Winford. Oh, Let me explain something to you. It brought money to her, more, more, more money? Let me explain something more to income? you. Let me explain something to you. Mm. If Mackerel doing our thing, and she's out there saying she take people, man. And we do business together. Remember, everybody do business with Mackerel. So we do a promotion, and she agree, and we both agree. It work. It's all about promotion. 
and we come and we, I know I'm here clearing the air, it's all about promotion. But I'm saying mm -hmm. this promotion that people are accusing me of saying that I try to take the spotlight or I try to yes. take something from her. I want Jamaica to know that I go in my pocket and bill mackerel, provide apartment, pay rent, give her money, the time she promote my video. So what I'm saying to you, all of this is just promotion when me come and send me a mackerel in something and I give her back the strength because I see that she need it. Okay. So if we had called you out and said, a promotion in our look, so we're not paying a man, mm -hmm. a general ship, would you have, how would that have affected your promotion plan or your whatever plan you have? How would that have affected it? It wouldn't affect it because Jamaican people like the negative energy to, in the social media realms to run with. We all know that is negativity sell. What do we mean by that, Winford? When you put something on social media and it sounds funny, everybody run with it. So it's a strategy to have pushing the song out there. It's a strategy of put me in out there. It's a strategy of put she in out there. So it's a teamwork. So it brought it, you income and fame. Well, as I said, I get fame from it. I'm not going to tell any lie. But she get help from giving me the fame. What help? I'm, I keep on saying it again, and I'm saying it, Winford. I help Mackerel by giving her apartment. I do more than what I should do. People is bashing me right now, saying that I rob her, I take her strike. Exploited her. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I come to tell you that I want Jamaica to know it's nothing like that. I do a promotion with her, and if the promotion go good, and I do more. Just clearing up the air, I didn't rob, I didn't take anything. Every artist do promotion with her, but I decide to do more. Now, why, when you ask me about mackerel, I said I concern is because I especially love mackerel and I respect mackerel. But all I am saying that the way oh, I start the mackerel and things, um, Winford, and the energy run, and, and we, she called me and said that somebody said they want to do this mackerel and shows and everything. And I said, yes, let's do the mackerel and shows. Everything changed. So where is the relationship now? Over? Well, it looks so, because she don't deal with me. That's why I come to my mind before it go no further. She done with you? No, she should Last time I checked, I called her, she didn't answer me. I get a chauffeur in, a, um, in Maryland, and I pass on the information, and I hear them get back to me. And when I am with Mackerel, everybody can see the energy, because when we come out and say, me and Mackerel, they, everybody just love the energy and love the whole beauty this of it, and say, yes. You're based with? Okay, I'm based with in Jamaica and America, but I say Jamaica right now. I can't hear somebody, but America, I live. Put it that you way. live in America, but you're in Jamaica at the moment. Mm -hmm. So where, what community are you from in Jamaica? Okay, um, Spanish Town and Bees Gully. Spanish Town, Bees Gully, so they call it. So that's the community you're trying to help? Yes, fix the road. First thing first, fix the road. Mm -hmm. The road is bad, yes. Uh, big up, bees, up, big bees Gully, yeah. But that's Spanish one, right? That's Liga Village, so that's San Diego Garden. So I take it that you're paid for your spiritual work, right? Yeah, yeah, people pay me for that's me. That's how you get Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, your li that's how you make a living? Yeah, and that, that is, yeah, that is on Facebook. I do a, what I really do, a live free reading show. Like, you have, everybody have the right to call. I go live, you call free. And say, RT, can you tell me what's going on in your life? And I start to tell you. And from there, you decide if you want to pay for a private reading. So it's about freeness. What did you show. do before? What did I do before? Well, I always a spiritual advisor from starting, from school days. That's what I do from here to now. That's what brings me here and create. So you were making a living from this before? Day one. From, from you were a teenager? I would have said from the start, this from me at 18. I think you get me kicked out of school too. You, so your, your, your first job was as a reader? Mm -hmm. And it's still your job now? Still job till so today. So you've never done anything else? Nothing else than reading. And you're very successful at it, you say? Very. So much so that you could give Mackerel an apartment for two months. I don't know why you put it that way in a Winford, because I don't mean, like how you make it sound. Let me, let me say something to you. So like you're rich? No, you uh, no. What I want to say is the people who are bash me say me come for Rob Mackerel hype and all of these things. I'm trying to tell you that. Me not rob mackerel. Me do more than me can. I know no matter. I say, so why you come talk 
I feel bad for people to address it, me tell me that, oh, you rob my career, whatever. So I think Yersa is the right platform to speak my mind, to make Jamaica know that I did not abuse my career. But, and so what is your understanding mm -hmm. as to why she's not speaking to you? She's not taking her calls anymore. Why she's avoiding you now? I think it's because she's listening. I, I, I'm trying to, like, you know, encourage her, you know, like, try to encourage her and try to take it up on my head, advise her and the team that she has don't really like it. So me can't go against for them view, so me love it. You understand what I'm saying? So this whole thing come, start, and it'll work, and then we start getting the fight, and she just pull out. I was the first artist to come out and play her song and say, hear my cry, because that is a nice song with me like, because I feel like she has sing that from inside her heart and inside her she. You understand? So, I want the best for my career because she's a nice girl. And me think that I could advise her the right way because we start good. Do you have kids? Yes. How many? Three. Okay. And how do they feel about your work? They're young. They're, they're young. young to they, know? They, they're young, yeah, young, yeah. And I also have a wife, so I can't put that so out you're there. Married to Very much. Would you, would you encourage your kids to be you? To be like you, to definitely, do what you, you do. Definitely. You know why, Winford? Because I'm about helping people. Don't miss the point. I use my gift not to rob and cause problems, to help, okay. to build, to uplift, to make you wise. My motto to people on my show is, whenever you see people use negative and speak negative over your life, use it as a fertilizer. Because negativity is a fertilizer to prosperity. Only way you know you're going somewhere in life is when people tear you down. All right, well, sir, I don't know if I've asked you all the questions, but that's where I'm going to leave it. But I want to say something, though, yeah. because you have to get little prophecy before the show is done. OK. So here you go now. Let me shake your hand and say, mm -hmm. it's very good, strong man, but retirement is in the year. What is it too early, though? <laughs> it's too early. Retirement? I am retiring. It's too, too early. Too early. It's too, it too, it too, it too, it too early. But retirement is always in the air. No, because guess what? It's a panda your mind right now. Because guess what? You are the boss, pan the boss, true, you know. Mm -hmm. But look at changes I forgot go on, you know. And I see it coming in the year of 23. We could see it going on. <laughs> we could see it going on. All right. Okay. Say, go, I'm just trying to say that he's thinking about something it, new to do. It is very general what you're saying, but. Yo. Whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, come on, Winford. Come yeah. on. Come on. <laughs> but don't leave the spot, though, because yeah. Jamaica love you. But you are thinking. I won't, I won't say anything. See, I, you know, you're going to leave I me leave, hanging? You're going to leave, leave, leave me leave, hanging? I leave. You're leave me hanging? No, I'm not here to bring you down, my friend. <laughs> or to, to, to prove you wrong or anything. I just wanted to ask questions on behalf of my followers, of my fans around the world, and to be fair to you and without disrespecting you. And I appreciate it. So I hope that. I have not done that. And I appreciate it. And thanks okay, for having me. I hope we have not offended you. Sure. We report and let people decide. But much respect. Good Bless to have it. you, sir. Long All life. All right, so there you have him right here on our stage. Another very, very interesting guest. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Now, where is the Roots artist who gave us this instant classic two years ago? Dre Isla is the artist, and he is on our stage right now. Dre, bless it, sir. Bless it, sir. Good to have you. So, okay, so the big classic has done its job. Roll out everywhere on the planet. Yeah. How do you feel about that, though? You know, Winford, you said it. The other day that, you know, uh, this song is going to be written down in the book of classics. Ah. And that was when the video was premiered here on stage. Honestly, I didn't remember that. Yeah. And so now we are, we're looking to you now, Trey, and we're saying, where is more? Yeah. Where are the rest of, <laughs> of records coming from where that came from? You know what I mean? That's a question I'm sure you're getting. And I hope you don't feel pressured and that you celebrate it. You it's know. always a great feeling to know that ones appreciate right. what you do from a humble beginning mm -hmm. to the maximum of your ability, you know? Yes. And ones receive it that much and embrace it 
to the maximum of, of, of their reach to, you know, mm -hmm. to make it a bigger classic, you know. So, I, I mean, once people say that to me, you know, I feel great. Because for me, it's, it's never finding a hit. Mm -hmm. I find it a classic. You know what I'm saying? I love music for real, real fun. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, you should feel no pressure by us, by the public and their fans and so on, to follow up. Or you, you have all the time in the world. I hope you feel comfortable with <laughs> knowing that you have all the time in the world to do this. I told you I, I'm going to take two years off the road, work on my yeah, career. Yeah, yes. And that's the far I know. Yeah. You know, sometimes we say things and we might don't realize it, but it's words, sound and power. Mm -hmm. We speak things into being, you know. And for me, Jah has been leading me. I told you it's not me, right? We pray. Mm -hmm. It's God give it to me as a message, so I just follow in the footsteps, you know, and I come out now, we're crazy. Ah. Yeah. And let's take that, right? Because this, to me, is another one, another big song of, of yours. Great writing, give great comes. video. You're doing things your way and taking time to make sure that they're good. So let's give it to the people right now. I see so many, but it's still no answers now, my baby. Now, my baby. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of that one. Uh, Crazy. Yes. Wow. Laid back and romantic kind of sound, Dre. Right? Well, the ladies directly asked me for um, love songs. Mm -hmm. They said, Dre, give us some songs. Give us some songs that's going to motivate us in love and, and, and bring us. So I started off with Crazy, you know? I started oh. it the craziest way. So it's one of some. Yes. So of more many, to come. Many. Said and um, and is it part of a wider project? Um, project No Arise. It's yes. not out as yet. Yes. It's, it's. I don't want to give the date as yet, but definitely will be coming. Not this year. Early, 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 early 2020. 2020. Definitely. Okay. So. And it still stands at 12 songs. Mm -hmm. We pray first single, crazy second one from it. Are you signed to any deal? To any uh, label? No, any major? I'm not signed to no label. But well, I must big up my team because I have a great team. Okay. You know, Tishan, Tango from Compound, Winnie, and the whole family, you know, the ones who support me, you know. But I must big up the producers on this track, mm -hmm. um, Mastermind Production, um, Red Boom for the mix, Shane for the, the, the skills with the camera, that is yes, Wikimedia, yeah. and Warm for the, the, the edit. And I must big up Dalu, that Empress that you saw mm -hmm. um, playing the lead role in there with me. Um, she's from Panama. She's also a movie star in Panama. And she, oh, she is. Out and dedicated her time for the video. For the she video. loved Jamaica. Do you find that there is a, a better reception, a higher level of consumption for Jamaica's music? In like yours? Age? In Jamaica? Definitely. In Jamaica at this time? Definitely. No, and, and the world. About yes. Jamaica. Well, the world was thing. never Jamaica. leaning on it. But. Well, for, well, that's why I, you know, I keep it root. To Rastafari. Yes. With a message. And no beat don't hold I down. You know, no genre don't hold I down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just bring my roots wherever I'm going. Say. Wherever the writing bring me, the vibes bring me. You know, when you play that beat, you know, it speak to me, I speak back to you. It's a conversation, you know. Yes, for yes, me, yes. you know. When, when 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 I, I don't write with pen and paper. You know what I'm saying? And I don't listen to your rhythm. You don't send a rhythm to you through the email for me to listen. And I listen to vibes. No, I listen, with, I listen to the rhythm over in my headphone while I'm in the boat. And you press record at the same time. So it's a conversation for me with the rhythm, with life, yes. you know, and everything come together. When writing, do you see people? Do you see culture? I definitely have to, because it, it starts with a beat. Yes. That's why I say we go on different beats, because we have to accept different culture. So they send their culture and I put my culture on it. Okay. So who are they? Who are you seeing in your, in your mind's eye? I mean youths, mm -hmm. you know, youths on our own. Because it's scary where the future is going. Yeah. For me, you know, for these little, because I have a youth, the oldest one, I have two kids. Mm -hmm. The oldest one is three year old. You know, it's, more I'm just sitting and I look for the man and say, you know, I wonder what life I could be. And I can imagine that's what my parents did too when I was a little baby, yes. you know? So for me, it's to make sure that the tree grow right from the root, because it can't bend. See how this look? Mm -hmm. It can't bend afterwards and straighten up again. So 
Um, and it's not to, to, to restrict you or to force any belief or knowledge on you. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's to make you feel good. You know, that's why I choose the beast that I choose. Mm -hmm. Sing the way that I sing. If you go back to we pray, you know, I don't make it feel no religious base, restricted. I never said Rastafari. Everybody know that Dre Island is for Rastafari, but I said we pray. We pray, yes. Yeah, you know? And this one, no, crazy. Everybody know what the word crazy mm -hmm. means. But I never made it. Uh, it's reality, you know, but they can get crazier. But that's not for me. So I just sing what I know and what I see my surrounding. That is best for me to teach youth. Try and we preach have showed me that I have a lot of youth fans. Yes. I mean, when we say youth, I mean like youth babies. Babies, mom and dad that come up to Dre Island and send me videos. Look at my kid, my little baby. I don't know how them know this song, you know, Dre. But look, and them sing it with passion. So I must say, love and respect to all the parents who support good music and play it for their children, you know. Love is universal, my friend. Yeah. Love and respect every time. Dre, bless you, sir. Always good to have you. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. crazy. <laughs> All right. So when the album ready, you know you're coming back to perform right. for us. With the piano this time. With the piano this time. Yeah, right. That's been outstanding. And we're going to hold you to that one. Because we, we hold it for the album. Yes. Remember that was the thing. Yes. The album premiere on stage with the grand piano. Absolutely. So there you have it. A big promise from Dry Island. It's great always to have him on our stage. All right. Still to come right here on stage from... Bitter rivals. To now friends. Bounty and Bean is frank disclosure on how and why they dropped war and embraced friendship. Next. Boys that believe down the ball. Stop that member. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. We know it to be a Beanie Man event that made a triumphant return last year after a long hiatus. But is the mastermind behind the new Summer Sizzle, the Dancehall King? Or... Is it his better half? <laughs> Crystal <laughs> is here to answer. And uh, she's coming alongside, well, she's bringing along <laughs> <laughs> the dance hall king. OK? Crystal, welcome, Chris. Oh, thank you for that setup. Fantastic. The set was. King. Yeah. <laughs> the first time somebody out of China had a set. Yeah, but I tell you, when she is. Yeah, yeah. 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 You have to play the second thing. Like, yeah, like, yeah, right, true. So, so Chris, yeah. um, answer me. Who is the promoter here? Well, the promoter is, is not me. It's not me. So it's his brainchild, but we have outsourced to a marketing house to manage the process, plan, and execute. Mm -hmm. um, but I play literally a supporting role. And right, I think people right. think I'm a part of the lead team, but I'm not. So I just support where I can in terms of helping to market and the, the PR. So didn't you want to, weren't you... A part of the change, the, the revamping. Yeah, man. Last year when we had the brainstorming session to set up how we wanted the event to go, um, MD Entertainment, which would be his recording company, yeah. um, all those energies, family energies, really sat down the room and came up with those ideas. So I was part of the conceptualizing and initiating for last year. But this year, I'm taking more of a backseat to help manage the foundation, um, mm -hmm. which was also launched last year. So I can't straddle both of them. So can you have some... Some big people coming for the for yes for we the have show. we have some great we have some big great, names yes I have, hear yes have, who book them you yourself or your company well I may have to book them you know because yeah them uh, all bookings got you I and I yes yeah because when you call being is on the yeah phone, yeah you see it so they answer yeah 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 see yeah that, that that's the beauty about it the the artist them where they're on the show is all about respect and you know uh, partnership and friendship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is the charity, Chris, is it the, the main focus of the, the funds from it? Um, yeah, yes, that was the intention last year, and we want to maintain, and will maintain that focus this year. So what we had done with the proceeds from last year's event, after paying bills and settling everything, we made a donation to the UWI Sickle Cell um, yeah. Foundation mm -hmm. to help them 
sustain a summer program that they've started. So we donated 300,000 last year, which is what they'll use to run the program this year. This year. Mm -hmm. um, so we're very excited that they're able to do that. And it really serves children from across the island who have the sickle cell disease and are sometimes left out of the fund because of the frailty um, that they have to be managed with. Uh, so the Sickle Cell Foundation is able to plan activities that engage them in a way that make them feel normal, you know? Okay. Yeah, but you, 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 the other that come through, because my son, Moses, you know, him have sickle cell thing. So he's been going to UF from, he, he's a kid, and he's been there like every other month, or every month. At the know? hospital. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the hospital. So um, the, 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 these people, these doctors from the university, these are the, the, the people who know to be with the pain because it's not, it's not something that you can treat. You know, so it's, it's your blood cells in your body which is sick. Mm -hmm. So that is the sick cells that, you know, create the pain in your, in your giants and all these things. So, you know, we, we would like to put out this to all the people in Jamaica who travel with this, who trouble with this problem. You know, we are trying to help. So this is what the show is all about. Not only that, but it's all about other things too, because we have other things to deal with. But yeah, this is one of the main problems. All right, so break it down for me. It's a family event. It's a, a fun day. Yeah. And a stage show. Yeah. Right. So it's two. It's like two different things. Uh, eh? It's two dimensional. Two dimensional right? thing. So one show done. <laughs> yeah, and then the next show. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so the, the daytime events, uh, um, it's activities, ten, what, 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 how, yeah, talk it's, about It's the 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and children get access by just buying a ticket, $800. Mm -hmm. um, parents can come with them for the day event too, so it's 2005 for parents and that band would carry you into the stage show afterwards. Okay. Um, so we'll have uh, rides, games for the family, booths, displays, um, fashion, food, all kinds of cultural things to keep them engaged. So your usual performances, your clown shows, your um, bounce abouts, rides and slides, so that the family is entertained. Last year, one of the things we learned is that you can't entertain the children and don't entertain the parents. Yeah, that, that, so the that's parents the need thing. things to do yeah. as well. So we have <laughs> yeah. a lot of expos that they can participate in yeah. um, and full joy the day. Mm -hmm. And then at 5 p.m., we end the family day activities, clear the venue, do a sweep, and then we move back in now for the show. So parents who are there in the day, can just get access with the same band, or um, there are different tiers of, of tickets. So you can get your VIP, your VVIP as well. And the tickets are available at Eventbrite, um, at MD Entertainment, 2A Manning Hill mm -hmm. Road, um, and at Tiger Mart in Clarendon, and I believe Genus Pharmacy, Pharmacy yeah. in, in Portmore. Yeah. And King, the five top names. Me, mm -hmm. born ticket. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bonji. Bonji guy. Yeah. And his wife. The six. And the six. Do you have the six? Yeah, the six is going to perform at six. Okay. So they actually. Go, so <laughs> yeah, yeah by, 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 by 5.50, the, um, the MC will be on stage uh, introducing the so six. Six, six at six. Yeah, the six at six. <laughs> so this is like. The, the Seriously. Sunfest. The, the now, well, if some fest is being <laughs> redeemed. Yeah, we don't know about some fest <laughs> part of six, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. So you're, you're, you're offering redemption? Yes, God. Because, well, let me tell you something, how Mr. Man stay. You see, we, we build Summer Scissor. It's a platform for every artist. Mm -hmm. Not only for the young artists, but each and every artist. See? Because... As, I, 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 as you know our thing from Mayor Youth, it was TST's talent show, was, which is our platform as, as young artists. Mm -hmm. See it? So there's no more ones that build a next platform because thing for all of the artists that we at. If you have a one song or a two song, you can't make the yes. next thing. You understand what I say? And if you use not the artist where everybody talk about, you cannot make some fest. This is a show for all artists who's pushing out the talent out there that everybody need to see. Mm -hmm. So if them they get for perform a one show, no worry about it. Yeah, come see them as summer sister. Sister. Yeah. Okay. Well Straight. news right here, six yes. at six. Yeah, six <laughs> at six. Uh, yes. <laughs> all right, Chris. So Chris you are a full blown politician now, I take it. I am, but I hope it's in a good way that mm. it's interpreted. I mean I know those who don't share my political opinion will find it difficult to give me a compliment on it. But I'm really wondering and hoping that those persons who were usually not interested in politics and probably left it to a particular type of person mm -hmm. um, are more engaged because I'm a part of it or feel like there's a place in there for everybody. Yes. Um, 
my hope, you know, that's my hope. So, so what's the, the ambition? Talk about that. I, prime I can't minister? make up one, no, I can't make up one. Like I don't have the ambition to become prime minister. I really just want to get youth involved and right now this is the way that I can do it. Mm -hmm. um, I've used my platforms before on social media just to pull people into national conversations and this is just mm -hmm. another way to get youth to take charge of the country. It's our future. We have to inherit all of the problems that they're building for us now. Mm -hmm. So we might as well participate in the decision making. And I don't believe in leaving the country for them people handle. Yeah. I pay the taxes. I want to have a say. And that's the, the role I want to play right now. And I mean, that's why you're now president of the, the PNP of the mm -hmm. And so, so, but aren't you looking to run a seat? Or Not if you're to called to, would you be willing? But I'd have to be really convinced and because I'm a new mother, like new, new in terms of a young born, but also my first baby. Mm -hmm. There are things that I don't want to miss and chances I can't take now because politicking and campaigning take you out of the house all night to every bar, every funeral, every, yeah. everything. And at this point in time, I don't feel comfortable making that sacrifice, but I don't strike it out completely. It's mm -hmm. something that is possible. It's in the realm of possibilities, but right, right now, I'm staying very close to zero. We have to just start creep. We have to start walk. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the things, you know? Yeah. So I know as PNP, why <laughs> president of why you can't take a side or, or well, I don't know. Yeah, but aren't you in the, in the leadership? Um, oh, the, the Peter versus Peter. The Peter, Peter. Well, formally, uh, I can't take a side because whatever I say would reflect the position of the entire organization, and we haven't established that yet. So I've been very careful not to make it seem that the YO has taken a position. Um, but in the next two weeks, we are setting up meetings with both of the candidates for them to sit with us, hear what we are proposing as legitimate changes to advance their organization, and then hear what they have planned to build the thing, not just for us, but to build it for Jamaica, to make good use of the PNP. So once we hear that, it puts us in a better position to decide, do we want to side with Dr. Phillips, with um, Mr. Bunting, or do we want to just stand back and allow the dust to settle and work with whoever wins? Mm -hmm. But it would be up to those two candidates to convince us of their platform. And the YO right now is just concerned with making sure that whoever wins is kept accountable by that mass of young people. How divided, divided is the Y.O. over this on contest? The matter? In, on, yeah. I, I don't want to overstate it, but there are persons who have taken their own position and are part of the campaign teams for either of the Peters, but it hasn't prevented us from getting work done, and it hasn't gotten to a place of violent and aggressive. But you know, person A, person B, and person C are on this side, D, E, and F are on this side, and it's very clear how they're going to vote and who they're helping to, to advance their cause. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it has affected the organization. So I wouldn't say we as an organization are deeply divided by it. But people have chosen their sides. So there is this controversial statement you made. I did. About likening the prime minister to, um, to Hitler. Uh, do you... Do you have any regrets about it? I do. I mean, in the moment that it was said, I felt very strongly that I was right in expressing myself the way I did. I didn't feel like I had made the extreme comparison to say, he is this way. I was just highlighting what I saw as a similarity. So in the moment, I was basically unrepentant that I didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but as the hours wound down, and I realized how people had interpreted it as a communicator, you have to learn when your message now tech. Mm -hmm. um, and I Especially in apologize. politics. Exactly. And you don't want to divide people on those matters because I oh. don't want to talk about a genocide in Europe. I have no mm -hmm. deep knowledge and sense of it. So I don't want to thrust myself into that kind of a conversation. So before the end of the day, I had issued an apology, published oh, it, okay. news was carried and so on. And the matter was still elevated to the political ombudsman. I restated that apology. And I've moved on from it and made sure not to repeat the statement and the sentiment because what was more important than anything else for me was the, the young person who was not involved in political conversation, hearing that, how, how do they interpret it? Does it improve their view of politicians or affirm the fact that we make reckless statements? And I don't want to be a part of anything that shuts youth out and make politics unattractive. Divisive politics is over, I hope. Yeah. In Jamaica. <laughs> and it's, it's the youth like you yeah. who must, must bring that change. All right, so Tobini won't be first man anytime soon.
No, what unfortunately. Kind of I am our man, the only man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the only. Yeah. Person, yeah. I can guarantee you. Yeah. But yeah. not yeah. like in Jamaica house. No, no. no I, I am the only <laughs> man. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't that be very interesting? Just leave me alone. The my king man. becomes. <laughs> the king becomes first man. The yeah. first man in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, you know, guys. And the baby's fine. Oh, it's she baby. Is, she, she is. She is beautiful. Yeah. Talking, well, she thinks she's she talking. Chat. <laughs> yeah, she had chat, chat, well, her reasoning, and she sings. See, yeah, she sings. Yeah, man, she well, her, yeah, man, she well, her own vibes. I, I, or is it being always singing around the bit? I'm a sing for her, right, too. Yeah. She have a whole We palette. sing because I'm a DJ, remember? Jesus <laughs> remember Christ. how about my lyrics, <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. So we're DJ. All right, yeah, yeah man, you know, see it? <laughs> see, she was a man, freestyle. Yeah. See it? She feels that she can freestyle. So. I'm a boss at freestyling, what do you mean? <laughs> you need to ask the people. You know, the people say I was boss, right? I'm a joke, I'm a kid. I can't, I can't have a freestyling. Don't worry, just get up and start with something to that. Yeah. So like an 80s DJ, like, <laughs> real 80s. <laughs> Did you, if you're always freestyling around the place, hey? Yeah. No, no, for the baby, bang, because they don't have baby name Zia. She call her Zia Bear. So I have a song for her when she wake up in the morning. Zia Bear, 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 I yeah. tell some other babies, get out of here. <laughs> but bye bye. See ya, be here, see ya, be here. <laughs> yeah, run the place, so you know, you know, you You see it? So the first time, always different. <laughs> so at, at this morning, we go to DJ, but I feed her, she don't get it. I feed her, I make. And then the hot water, she got beat in and them things there. So at, at the, <laughs> the first kind of, you know, change every day. She, you know, she get up now. <laughs> No, we're from one song, from Sia Bun. If you haven't done it. She, she gets up. She has her own thing. So sometimes the baby says her. <laughs> every time they're DJs, they're Sia Sia Sia. She knows my song. So every time she starts, they're Sia Sia. And when she gets it, she gets her. And smile. Sometimes she's confused. Yeah, so she had a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on it. I soon have my Zia song. Have, she have one song where she sing for Zia, Zia Noah. That's the bad time song where yes. Zia got beat. Are you ready stop it, to man. have National TV your shower? Really I should stop. Yeah, yes, stop. people see me. <laughs> no, it's coming. No, it's coming. It's coming, Chris. I love it. I'm, I'm working on it like a bad time the song. Cool, the cool you know? I drop out with her. I said, we know. Are you ready to, to have your shower, yeah. bathe your booty yeah. at this hour. <laughs> Sometimes she can't choose to be able to see me. Oh, it's not going on, man. It's not going on. Yeah, but show me that man a DJ from my daughter, right? Show. Everything she do me is build a lyrics. So I did. Yeah, she have a thing that she, she, she get mad. And, yeah. When she get mad, the puppy get mad. You know? Because when Zia start jump, the puppy start jump up. But, but it seems like you guys are, uh, are waiting for her to carry the flowers at the wedding. Yes. Uh, a superstar. Yeah. She will be like walking that. by yeah. then. I would yeah. like that. She will be walking by That's then. That's actually my. My dream, like yeah. to have Zia. No rush. Okay. No it's rush. not only our dream, it's our nightmare and our dear dream. <laughs> really? I think, yeah. Yeah, like sure I, I, I read, that's what I want to Zia see. Zia carry the ring and the thing. You know, I think mm -hmm. that's like a binding agent. Yeah. So for some, the order is different. Yes. For me, that visual for me is just, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. So everybody just wait for anything. Wait for it. Have yeah. patience. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to rest it. I remember the first man is still in the lineup. Oh, <laughs> Regardless of how much I say about politics. Yeah. <laughs> the politics move. Yeah. Move well, people later. Yeah. So what she's saying now she, should not be, 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 be held as. As, as where she really is. Yeah, will, where she really is. Because the people them put her to the test, she will take it. As soon as she's staying there, she's a girl who likes the people. challenge. She listens to the people. Yeah, man, she works for the people. Well, she's working for the people now. Huh? So, all right, that's a service call. So if once once I feel like Zia is able to just function a little more independently, I'm sure my mind is gonna change. It's just that right now I want more time. Okay. At home with I spend more time with you then. And then we are dealing. Well, good. Yeah. Well, they were there for it. Well, she's already automatically she's queen, you know. Yeah, yes, <laughs> you know? yeah, fully right, true. Yeah, she's right. my queen. Well, I'm the queen. Yeah, you have to grab on for that. Well, I'm queen. Yeah, like, well, that well, well, the body's king. So. Yeah. So. Hey. Just turn me into one. Blessing. So, I'm not going to be the first man that time soon. But, yeah. Go and be my queen. And I will forever be a king, darling. 
Not, not, we're not going to wait. I got to build your man forward. But, um, yeah. But, sure. <laughs> yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> your fans love it. Yeah, Go I got to build your man forward. But we're not going to wait. We're there. Uh, yeah. So, summer scissor. Yes. August 10th. Woodley Sports Complex. Say Woodley. it again, darling. Sir. Woodley Sports Complex. Thank in you very much. Clarendon. Woodley August Sports 10. Complex in Clarendon. 10 a.m. Right. For, for the family. Um, yeah. Fun day and village to 5 p.m. Yeah. and then stage show right after. Yeah. All right, so that's it. All right. We'll be there on stage. Of and yes. and, and yes. stage will be there because you are one of the sponsors Absolutely. of the show. Absolutely. Yeah. And worthy, worthy cause. Yes, God. So back us and yes. help to support this cause, yeah. please. Please. All right. Well, it's always good to have them next year again, them coming back or after the show. Last year they came back after the show. Yeah. Lots of good stories and yeah. so on came out of it. So who knows? Yeah, great. All right, so that's our show for this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do we join us again next week for more on stage? The future Prime Minister of Jamaica. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Memories of my people, do. Oh, they always remember the greater things. Oh, but we see I'm being a man, but we have your now, yes, sir. Hands up, and there's missing. Stop, stop from remembering. Now you don't that being a fool, Lord. All right, thanks for watching our video. You know what to do. Click, subscribe, and be on our stage always.